Hey guys, Tally here. So, for this video, I'll be talking about Godzilla Singular Point. It's everyone's friend, it's Tyler. It's everyone's friend, it's Tyler. Godzilla Singular Point is the second Godzilla media that came out this year for many Godzilla fans. Earlier this year, Godzilla vs. King Kong was released onto streaming services as well as the various cinemas across America for everybody to enjoy and see on the big screen or at the television if you want to. And of course, this whole entire anime is also, of course, available on Netflix. Originally, it was broadcast in Japanese television stations. And honestly, I have to say that I really, really enjoy this TV show. This is the fourth anime for the Godzilla series. There are three other anime that were originally produced by Toho Studios for Netflix. However, not many people really liked it. Now that's out of the way, it's very important to establish what type of media Godzilla is for this whole entire TV show. Because throughout the years, there are various different styles, different takes about the monsters. Now, the first thing, of course, is that some stuff that's produced within the Godzilla franchise is actually more emphasis on the monster fights. And so, this is the first type of fan that normally want to see this sort of stuff. Oh, I love Godzilla! A matter of fact, the main reason why I love Godzilla is because of the monster fights. I don't really give a shit about the human story, and that's why I like the Godzilla movies. The second type of Godzilla fan is the type of, you know, the snob kind of Godzilla fan, who basically, you know, watches the fights, but also want to have a good story. And so, here is what the second type of Godzilla fan is like. Well, you see, Godzilla is a metaphor for the atomic weapon. And so, we should be taking Godzilla really, really seriously, and the humans should also be characters that we should actually enjoy. I don't like these sort of movies where the characters are secondhand to the story. And so, I prefer to have the Godzilla 1954 type. Well, I have good news for these two types of fans. If you like the story aspect of Godzilla, and if you like the monster fight brawl aspect of Godzilla, you will love to watch this whole entire series. Because according to Netflix, there are at least 13 plus episodes that are like 24 minutes long each. Which means you could probably complete the whole entire season of this show within like 6 hours or so. The best way to describe this show is that this whole entire premise for the human aspect of the story is very, very, very deep and philosophical and very scientific. If you're somebody who are not really, you know, scientifically literate or have like a huge study about science, the script might be very daunting at first because it's very technical about like a lot of different aspects. I guess some of it does not make sense unless you watch it many, many, many times. So if you don't really understand the script for the first time, I would recommend you watch this anime many, many different times because I'm sure that there are some stuff that I honestly did not understand the first time around. And so, even if you do not actually know a lot of science and stuff, I would say you will still enjoy this anime for what it's worth. In terms of the monsters, there are plenty to be found in this whole entire series. For starters, they get like new designs, and so you will not actually recognize them until you really, really look. The first example, of course, is Rodan. Now, what's so interesting about this whole entire show is that, of course, Rodan attacks the cities, but later on in the show, we will literally see a flock of different Rodans that poses at a threat against the entirety of Japan. 
and it looks super, super cool. The other monster is Titanosaurus, as well as Anguirus. Now, the biggest thing that's the best surprise about all of this is the return of the whole entire freaking infamous Jack Jagrider from Godzilla versus Megalon. And oh my god, guys, Jack Jagrider is really, really cool in this anime. Now, in the original 1973 film for Godzilla vs. Megalon, we know that, of course, like Jack Jagrider was controlled by humans, but later on, he actually, of course, fought for himself. This one is really different. In the first few episodes, you get to see Jack Jagrar being controlled by humans, either through like inside of the whole entire robotic body, or sometimes, of course, like, you know, with this remote control thing on the computer, and he just fights the living shit out of all the monsters. And of course, later on in the show, it's controlled by some sort of AI by itself, and it's just like the super cool. Now, my favorite fight, honestly, for Jet Jigar is probably, you know, like, uh, I don't know. I like all of them. Like, the spider fight was really cool and bloody. But I always have to say, like, yeah, almost all the fights with Jet Jigar, if you're a fan of that character, you will see him a plenty and a plenty for this whole entire show. Now, the whole entire purpose of watching a Godzilla show is to, of course, see the whole entire monster, the big kahuna himself, and he looks absolutely incredible in this show. Really, really killer. Now, remember in the whole entire movie for Shin Godzilla, where the evolution of Godzilla was actually displayed. I'm not going to spoil the evolution for this movie, I mean this show, sorry, but the best way to say it is that this type of idea of seeing Godzilla evolve again is actually has some sort of comeback for this show and it's just so unique and it's just super cool. And so if you're a fan of this whole entire idea of showing the evolution of Godzilla in front of your eyes, you will love it. You will love it. So, how would I rate this whole entire show? Personally, if you really like this story, if you like Godzilla action, you will love, love this anime. I give this anime four out of five atomic rays. What do you guys think about Godzilla Singular Point? Please tell me in the comment section down below. Personally, it's really interesting to see that on the total side of things and the American side of things, that they have two unique styles for the Godzilla franchise. Here we have, of course, the Toho side, as of recently, that is more experimental. They have, of course, more deeper plots to satisfy those fans. And, of course, on the other side, we have the legendary kind of film, which is more like popcorn movies to satisfy those type of fans. And so, it's really cool that this year, we get two types of Godzilla films and movies and shows. And so... I really appreciate all this content that's been coming out as of lately. Until next time, guys, take care. It's everyone's friend, it's Tyler. He's your only black friend, so he's your best black friend. I won't <laughs> trade him for another black friend. Because black friends are rare, as you should be aware. He smiles like Richard Pryor, so just sit and stare. It's everyone's friend, it's Tyler. It's everyone's friend, it's Tyler. It's everyone's friend, it's Tyler.